welcome back to my youtube channel this is the first video on my holy girls vlog playlist this is me getting ready to say my night prayer and i learned recently that i need to start dressing decent when i want to pray because god is not my mate obviously so whenever i want to pray these days i just get myself fully dressed in a modest way also covering my hair because i don't want to disrespect god i want to appear serious to him okay because god cares about our body our heart our soul everything about us he cares he wants us to be intentional about how we care for this temple that he has given us so i have this prayer point i spoke about it in my last two videos that i'll be showing you guys the prayer points in each vlog this is also the week i'm trying to start sleeping early i've been making intentional effort to see if i can sleep on time to wake up on time and do my works during the day and not at night if i go to bed i wanted to just finish this work because the person will be needing it the next day so after that i arranged i went to bath and do my skincare hoping to sleep on time i think i slept on time that day but i didn't wake up on time throughout the week the rest of the week became so so stressful and so busy that i just gave up on waking up on time because sometimes i really need to stay awake at night to to round up some walks hello everyone i'm trying obviously to start waking up on time but it got to a point where i gave up on that but now after last night my body i could literally feel my body like so weak and i remember going out yesterday to send out the order someone placed an order so i was going to the park to deliver to the person the i just like imagine like imagine that is a different world entirely in the spiritual realm which there is but i the way i was thinking of it, it was more dramatic but like and then let's say in classroom and i was the only one that wasn't present in school in the dream because i wasn't sleeping so it's um i felt so bad for my spirit my spiritual life because um yeah obviously it's the promise i was going to sleep early but i didn't because i was trying to lose my hair i already lost half i finished losing my hair in the night around one and i had my bath and i just like forced myself to sleep even though something was like i was fighting like this if you're not sleeping at night and you're struggling with it you're battling with something and yeah i, mean, I felt i was battling with something and one thing that the enemy doesn't like and the human flesh doesn't like is the word of god never hear the word of god usually when you're seeing two hours long you just like fall asleep just looking at the the, the hours alone so that was what i I did last night i was able to sleep and i slept for so long and i woke up by 11 to 12 like few minutes to 12 and that was how tired i was okay from just i slept from um, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let me just say i slept for 10 hours and um yeah i am here this afternoon again and i started my bible passage of course i'm trying to like build my life again because not sleeping on time kind of messes up your prayer life you don't even know it but like it's a gradual process and yeah i have this um account on tiktok that i post that i post about my bible passages i i read every afternoon when i was consistent when i was waking up on time then I would post my morning passage, my afternoon passage, and also my night, my midnight passage. So, but now I'm like struggling with sleeping, and 
it's longer even logging here not too long i, th I feel like log yesterday but i always get this i feel like there are many people in this world that want to hear the good news that want to hear the word of that want to know god like i said i have not posted the video yet so i'm not sure if i'm going to be <laughs> few years ago in my life i always wanted to know the word of god but like nothing around me showing me the information so why not be the one i opened a new account called christian etiquette academy basically etiquette how to be here but like now in a christian way we all manner christians some people actually um find it hard to accept my bible my the one a video that a bible passage that went viral someone was like commenting like being paranoid about this sirac not being in his own bible like you know when you search for this extra books in the bible if you search for it on google it will not come out okay it, the bible passages will not show up but so this guy he was saying that that preaching the false teaching no i i just wonder how people think sometimes like are you saying that okay i i posted about for example what i studied today loose talk like advice about something that is right it, unless someone that is so blind they cannot tell apart good and evil good and bad that the people that do not know what that confused like this because i don't understand even if the bible passage is not in your own bible what it's what is written is not any evil it's an advice it should guide you it should motivate you it should bring you closer to god it's not the opposite why not saying that fake preaching fake bible this and that if we, let me just I, I feel like i'm being dramatic but let me just read the actual thing i had to do a video showing the bible i use because maybe they think i'm using a different bible okay after even posting about the bible i use the same human being commented commented this is a catholic bible when when did all this get to this level where people feel like this that is for the church are we not all worshiping the same god i mean i don't think they're worshiping the same god as me but like are we not all referring to one god when we are saying we are worshiping a god are we not all referring to one god and that it does not have no church has their own bible okay because i feel like christian is christian and all bible passages are all the same why do you feel like because this one is yellow it is for it's for catholics or this one is pink it's for this is for that like breathe in or this one is king james version which is for this type of the real chris i don't know what you're thinking but for me i go for bible that explains things the way i can understand i don't want to finish reading a bible passage and i'll start looking for dictionary to interpret what that say even in this one i still do that but i hardly find any word like even if i see a word that i don't understand that word is probably like new to me not that it's a hard word but like it is new to my knowledge i will not then make research of it i then have new knowledge of a word okay but some bibles like the ones that like say oh god comments or that i do not i can't understand that so this is like the easiest bible so far like it is today they even wrote it here today's english version okay today's english and that is the language i understand today's english i wasn't born in 90s i was born in 2000 someone said um this is not the bible searching for those words on google simple so this google thing i do advise people to just get a physical bible if possible this one i'm studying good news because it has extra but i want to even buy the bigger one because it has more books to it another person then said these people are making their own bible how sad like how are we making this has been in history you just do not know about it how's the thing people suffer because of lack of knowledge you do not know this one existed but it has been there for many years okay it's just the Oh my goodness like i now i see what jesus went through 
people he will preach and teach and teach and teach and they will be taking him backwards. He just said he's an example instead to teach. He said he's in parables. So this person now said this kind of book, what kind of book is Sirac? I replied that is Sirac, right? What kind of book is Sirac? Which version of the Bible is this? Who wrote this book? Please stop deceiving people. This pub, this passage that I, I posted was saying a large family is nothing to be desired if the children are worthless. Godly children are nothing to be proud of. No matter how many children you have, don't look on them with pride unless they fear the Lord. Don't put much hope in their future or expect them to live a long time. One child who does the Lord's will is better than a thousand who do not. It is better to go to your grave with no children at all than to have children who are godless. Yeah, that was what I said. So I felt like the godless ones were triggered by that. The truth is really hard. This Sirac part motivates and advice and discriminate discriminate at the same time just like reality check it just comes on like today's when i read was loose talk like i do talk don't repeat what someone tells you so should i read this one for you as i'm about to post it now on the page but let me read it out for you guys avoid idle talk and you will avoid a lot of trouble never repeat what you hear and you will have no regrets don't tell it to your friend or your enemies unless it would be sinful to keep it to yourself. Okay, whoever hears you will take note of it and sooner or later will hate you for it. Have you heard a rumor? Let it die with you. Be brave. It won't make you explode. A foolish person trying to keep a secret suffers like a woman in labor. Whenever he hears a secret, it's like an arrow stuck in his leg. That is how bad. So people can't hold their mouths. Like, this is how they feel like. Whenever someone tells them or they hear something, they cannot keep it to themselves. They will, it's like they're going to die if they don't talk. If you hear that a friend has done something wrong, ask him about it. Maybe it won't, maybe it isn't true. If it is true, he won't do it again. If you hear that a neighbor has said something he shouldn't, ask him about it. Maybe he didn't say it. If he did, he won't say it again. If you hear something bad about a friend, ask him about it. It might be a lie. It might be a lie. Don't believe everything you hear. A person may say something carelessly and not really mean it everyone has sinned in their way at one time or another if you hear something that makes you angry with your neighbor ask him about it before you threaten him leave the matter to the law of the most high that just depends that's just the conclusion even if you hear something bad even if you hear something just leave it to god to just sort out because at the end of the day you're not the judge okay my mission on this vlog was to be waking up on time but now i feel like i have a strategy which my next vlog will pay off i want to try to work very well because to be honest i only rest during the daytime in the night then i start to take orders but that is the wrong way to do things i have to okay work during the daytime like now i'm going to try to do as much as was as i'm going to try to do as much as i can this afternoon so that at night i'll be i'll be tired and ready to rest and i can go to bed on time okay without staying awake in the midnight okay um yeah that's what i'm going to do I'm gonna start this practical on myself. I've I won't tell you how many times I've tried. I'm sure it's been more than countless times itself. So um I'll keep trying. That's one thing about Christian. We don't stop, we keep moving, and I'm going to keep trying. 
I feel like if you know me, that's basically the theme of my life. I'm, I'm always trying. Like even though it's obvious, like if I think about it, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's so sad. I'm like, in my life that's depressing, okay? Because it's obvious, messy, it's obvious this is not working. Why do you keep trying, like move on, move on? Like, no. Let me quickly post this Bible passage I read today and I will see you all. And you just see the messages, 99 plus notifications that came in